What's up YouTube? This is WSR MMN and I'm going to show you guys how to get ringtones for your iPhone. The software I use is Copy Trans Control Center and WavePen Sound Editor. Uh, Copy Trans Control Center is a software that is uh, kind of similar to iTunes. It's just that you don't need to save your uh, library to actually um, access your files because I forgot to do that and now it wants to delete all my files and I don't like that. So um, I'm going to connect my device and uh, it'll bring up everything pretty quick and um, this will show you what kind of device it is. I have an iPhone 4S and um, if it has ringtones, voicemails, and if it had music I'm pretty sure it would show up also but I have no music on my iPhone. So um, it shows me all my ringtones right here and uh, I'll just minimize that and it works pretty well. It's free software. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, the next thing is uh, wave, pad, wave Pad Sound Editor. Excuse me. And you, this is what we're going to use to edit the music that you want for your ringtone. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do before that is we're going to have to make sure you can see your file extensions. So you're going to go to Start, Control Panel, we're going to go to Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, and we're going to go to View, and this will be checked for you guys if you haven't done it yet. And uh, you're going to uncheck this, Hide Extension to Known File Types, and you're going to push Apply, and OK. And um, now you'll be able to see the extensions of the uh, file so like this, it says M4A, and if you had other files, it'll say like MPEG4 or whatever. Okay, so let's go back into WavePad Sound Editor, and we're going to do this. Um, let me show you guys something really quick before we get into that. Uh, WavePad Sound Editor, you can get it for free, but if you don't want to keep downloading it all the time, you just go to Control Panel, uh, Uninstall Program, and you're going to go down to your WavePad sound editor and you're going to install and change. Um, and this will be bolded for you guys and you guys are going to click downgrade to free version but few features but free and next and it'll do that for you. And every time you enter your WavePad sound editor it'll come up with this uh, certified program for non-commercial use and that's what that is. So anyways back to the ringtone. You're going to select the file you want. You're going to drag it in there um, I've already cut this file down, so I'm not going to edit it any, but I will show you guys how to. So say I didn't want this section inside of the uh, video, or the sound. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to push cut, and you're going to listen to um, the song and make sure that's what you want. Alright, so the next thing is uh, you're going to go to File, Save As. You're going to select this out of the drop down menu and M4A and you're going to excuse me, you're going to press save um, so that's that uh, I don't want to answer it um, then you're going to get this file and you're going to rename it and you're going to go on this side and you're just going to push an R and enter and this will come up if you want to change the file extension, it may become um, usable. Are you sh are you sure you want to make the changes? You're going to press yes. I'm going to press no just because I might have to do this video again. <laughs> Who knows? All right, sorry about that. Um, let's see here. Then you will get this file, and it'll say M4R. I'm not sure if the icon will be there because sometimes the icons show up and then other times they don't. So don't worry about the little icon thing. It should work just fine. Um, now you could use iTunes, like I said, or uh, Copy Trans Control Center, like I'm using in this video. Uh, so then I'm just going to drag the file that we just made into here, and it will um, show up. And there it is right there. But I didn't do this for this video. But when you do it, it's going to um, light up this icon, and it's going to say Update. So then you just update it, and it'll load everything onto your iPhone and that should be it. Now if you do not see it on your iPhone at first um, try just to reboot your iPhone because uh, sometimes I had to do that to make it work. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and comment, rate, subscribe 
And if you have any questions, you know, you can comment and I'll try to get back to you guys. Have a great day. Bye.